option. Today we're going to be looking at the top five tweaks for April the 16th. These are going to be free ones. First one up is called Photo Torch. And what it does is allows you to get more control of your flash. And you've got a couple settings that you can configure under the settings menu here. So let's go to Photo Flash and I'll show you what those look like. I'm sorry, Photo Torch. You got that you can turn it on and off with enabled and you got a no flash fire which it says it prevents the camera from flash firing when you capture photos with the torch that results in over bright photos all right so let's go ahead and let me show you what it does uh i have it enabled so let's go into the camera app and i'm gonna have to enter a password here because i have another tweak installed and I'll be showing you what it is just in a minute here. But if we tap the options here in the middle, you see on the screen here, we got some other options down here below panorama called torch mode. Okay. And torch level. That goes along with the photo torch city of tweak we're looking at right now. So you see back here in the back, it's actually burning on right now. And if I go back, here and turn it down you see it drops down the level does the intensity of the you can see it gets brighter and dimmer okay that that's giving you more flash for your photos and that's called photo torch all right the next one is called grabby grabby adds some more useful features to your gra camera ga grabber right here and it's in the Ryan Patriots repo. I'll have that link in the description. And if I tap that little camera right there, just right, all right, here you see I've got some other options. If I slide over to the phone and flip up, then I'm going to get to the phone app. It just works that fast, that simple. All right, if I do, do the same thing again and come over to the messages, go up, I get my message app. And you can do the same thing for iTunes. It works the same way. Uh, you can even set those to be other apps if you want to go in here to Grabby and say on the uh, icon here, you want to use the camera icon. You can change whatever icon you want to. We'll leave that alone. But for the camera icon, let's say we want to open the App Store. All right, so now when we go back to the lock screen, Scroll over to the camera app. Oh, that was right where I was at. When I go up, it's going to open the app store. Okay? And you see we're in the app store now. Pretty cool tweet, guys. It's got a lot of awesome features with it. Up next is one called Protect Photos. And Protect Photos lets you protect a number of different things on your device. Not only does it allow you to protect your photos but it allows you to protect other apps as well. And you even have to put your password in here to even see the settings. So that way anybody can't change them. So here you see you can protect the photo, camera, or other app or wallpaper settings. All right, the other app is the one I'm gonna show you right now. All right, if I wanna to go to application and or application protecting, and I can flip any of these on that I wanna protect down through here, and it will add a password to any of them. So look, right now, all right, Maps isn't selected. So, uh, well, let's just choose another one. Let's say uh, Calculator, all right? So when I tap Calculator, you see it just pops right open. So let's go back up here to Calculator and flip it on. Now when we go to Calculator, we're gonna be asked for a password, okay? It works the same way for our photos, same way for the camera, same way for anything you've got enabled under that settings app right here. Anything you got flipped on right here. Uh, and you see I've got my password set to Mitch. You can, of course, change that to whatever you'd want it to be. But pretty cool itself, guys. Another one is called Music Widget. Free My Apps is a service which allows users to collect points online to earn free gift cards from iTunes, Amazon, Fandango, Hulu, and Xbox Live. From a mobile device, open the link you see on the screen now, 
or in the description below to earn 200 free points which may be used towards a free gift card at any time. Now back to the video. Music Widget lets you double tap the music icon right from the springboard. Double tap to open up a little music widget right there. You don't have to find the iTunes or nothing like that. You just simply go in here and you can tap play and your music will start playing. If you want to go to the next song, you simply can just tap forward or rewind to go to the previous song. Works real easy and it's very, very useful. Another music tweak that was just released in the last week or so is called Pluck, P-L-U-C-K. And what Pluck does is it adds the actual music, little music icon right here in the bottom right hand corner. You can see where it's at right now, but actually it's by default it's on the left side. If you tap that, it brings up all the songs on your phone. And you're able to select whatever song you want to hear right from there rather than having to flip through and find the the music or the songs app on your on your uh, device and when you're using this uh it set, it does put a couple features on here that you can change like i said earlier by default it's on the left side so if i want to change that uh you can see i can turn that off and you can also set activation methods if you want to open it up that way. Let's say we want to open it with a triple press. So now when we're at the lock screen, okay, if I triple press, you see I get this little, there we go. Now my songs pop up when I triple press. One, two, three, there we go. And you can see my little music icon is back on the left side. There's five awesome tweaks, guys. Get them today. I'll have the Ryan Patriots repo below so you can grab it down there. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and keep coming back.